Good morning, everybody. Today we're here at the Auto Skills Center, aka the Auto Hobby Shop, on Tori Station, which is a military base here in Okinawa, Japan. And it's basically just a fully outfitted shop with everything you need to do pretty much a full car build here. So we're gonna do a walkthrough of the facility and then we're gonna get some work done on the Supra. Here we go. So immediately walking in, we see a tire balancing machine, tire mounting machine, Behind that door is the paint booth, and they're spraying in there right now, so we'll check up on their progress in a little bit. There's a stripped down 2JZ, and some miscellaneous shop equipment. Got a brake lathe, drill press, just the basics. Here we've got the stall area or bay, and there's my bay. Each stall has its own toolbox. Got some screwdrivers in the top drawer. Got some wrenches, some 3 8 inch drive ratchet stuff, half inch drive stuff, got some pliers, got some hammers and the all important safety goggles, safety first. We've got our impact, some crowbars and a handsaw here. So each stall has their own toolbox with that equipment. And then over here, we've got the parts shelf. These are just different parts that people have taken off their cars. And then here's the new stall that they put in. This thing looks nice. We got more shop equipment. Got a bike lift over here. Over there, they have the shop office. They've got different parts and supplies that people may need for just basic routine maintenance and stuff. And they've also got some specialty tools in there. And walking through this hallway, we've got the ever important bolt bin, which is a must for any shop. And over here, we've got the big heavy duty sink. And then we come through the hallway and we've got three more stalls. Got a little bike under wraps. And then over here, we've got what appears to be pretty much a full teardown and rebuild of this FD RX-7. This thing is completely stripped. Looks like they're prepping it for some body work as well. And then over here in this room, we've got our sandblasting. Here's our sandblaster and some nice work equips. Hmm. And then here we've got the last room in the shop, the metal fabrication room. Got some welders, some cutting equipment, gas, and they actually just put this lift in so we can do undercar exhaust work. And we've got this S30 that they're definitely doing some restoration on. It's going to be pretty cool to see this thing when it's finished. Let's get to work. So today we're going to be working on the Supra and I just want to say that overall this car is extremely reliable. It's my daily driver. It's never left me stranded in the over a year that I've had it. And really this is the first mechanical issue that I've had. The issue being the starter. So over time the starter solenoids start to corrode and that's resulted in sometimes me having to turn the key 5, 10, even 15 times to get the car started. So. We bought this rebuild kit on Amazon, it's from Victory Lap, and it's got really good reviews. So we're going to throw that in, and it should be just what we need.
So we've got the car up on the lift now, and the starter is right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. So that should be pretty fun to get out. the starter out all the forms say it's really difficult to do but I guess we had the right combination of extensions and having the lift definitely helped so we got it out pretty quickly I'm gonna get my hands all washed up before we start tearing into the internals and we'll get this thing all fixed up so we've got the cover for the solenoid off just took off these three seven millimeter bolts and as you guys can see it's pretty corroded and worn in there so it's definitely the cause of our issues we got the new components here. There's a new plunger and then the new contacts themselves. So I'm going to get this thing pulled apart and we'll get those parts replaced. got the starter all rebuilt, we've got the new plunger in, the fresh contacts as well. And now we're just going to put the cover back on and we'll get it thrown in the car. Here's Austin's MR2. He's actually in the paint booth working on another MR2 right now. But this thing is a lot of fun to drive. Here's the MR2 that they're in here painting. The fans are kind of loud so I apologize in advance. but. Uh, Looks like they've sprayed the base coat down and now they're doing some prep work, wet sanding it and getting it prepped for clear coat. This car was originally red so it's pretty much just a respray, had a lot of clear coat fading and such. So I'm sure they're having fun with this. Here's a little teaser for you JZX100 fans. This really clean white one just showed up. Looks like the owner is working on it. But got the starter back in the Supra. It's all wired up and tightened up and ready to go. So let's test it out. We've got the battery hooked back up. So here's the moment of truth. Great success. Well, there you have it. Started right up on the first try. Thankfully, it was a smooth day here in the auto hobby shop. Everything went as planned. Thank you guys for your support. We just hit 100 subscribers, and I owe all of that thanks to you guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Let me know in the comments below what kind of projects you would work on if you had an auto hobby shop in your area. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next video.